Hello everyone, I'm Alaj D. Welcome to Music Greatness. For today's lesson, I'm going to break down in a sentimental mood by Duke Ellington and John Coltrane. It goes just like this. Alright, for this first part, I'm going to break down for you the intro and also the A section. So here, we're playing in the key of B flat minor. And we're going to start outlining this B flat minor 9 chord with B flat, D flat, F, D flat, F, A flat, and C. Playing this way. So, the pattern on the left. I'm going back and forth between C and B flat. And basically, every time I will change the note between the two, so C and B flat, I'm going to play D flat and F, two notes at the same time. So, C, D flat and F, B flat, D flat and F back to C. So, that's the pattern. Then on the right hand, I have the minor third, the fifth, the seventh, and the ninth. Playing F and C, and then D flat and A flat. So F and C, D flat, A flat, F and C, D flat, A flat, going to D flat and B flat, and finishing with C and F. So start with your thumb on D flat, like this. Then D flat, B flat, C and F again with your thumb on the first note, so C here. And now with both hands, As you can see, I'm playing the first D flat and F on the left with F and C on the right hand. And then D flat and B flat is played with B flat. And that's the intro. I'm going to play that four times back to back. One. After that, we're going to start the A section. It goes like this. So, again, I played this pattern on B flat minor. played that twice and then I went up, upper fourth on E flat, E flat minor using those notes, E flat, G flat, B flat, G flat, B flat, E flat. So for the left. I'm playing first E flat alone, then G flat with B flat, and after that G flat, E flat going down on F and B flat. And then I'm going to continue with G flat alone, 
then E flat, B flat, and again G flat, E flat, F and B flat. So from E flat. Now, right hand, we're simply going to replay the last bit of the left hand. So, G flat, E flat, F and B flat. And as you can see here, I played G flat and B flat on the left with G flat and E flat, right hand. Again, doing the back and forth. G flat, E flat, F, B flat, G flat, E flat, F, B flat. Then. Now with E flat and B flat, I replayed that pattern on my right hand. And then after playing this on the left, I played this on the right hand. D flat, A flat, A and E flat. So from the top. Then I'm back on B flat minor. Going to B flat seven. Okay, so if you noticed on the left, my pattern became a bit easier. I'm simply playing B flat and then D flat and F. Going to B flat with D and A flat. For the right hand, I have B flat F, F and D flat for B flat minor. Like this, so B flat F, F D flat, B flat F, F D flat, and B flat F again. Again here, I have my thumb, second finger, third finger and pinky. And then, same pattern with different notes. Right hand I have A flat, D flat, D and A flat. And on the left, B flat, D and A flat. And with this D flat on top, we're playing B flat 7 with a sharp 9. Okay, and then we're going to finish this first A section playing over E flat, A flat, and D flat. So we have first E flat minor playing with E flat on the left, simply one note. Then, right hand, you have B flat, G flat up here, E flat on the thumb, back on B flat, G flat, then play A flat down here, with C, A flat, G flat alone, using the thumb, back on C and A flat, resolving to the last chord, and that's D flat. D flat on the left, F, and D flat. Okay, let's replay this A section slow tempo. Three, four. And E flat. Just play and break on this D flat major. All right, let's recap.
that's all for this first part. For the rest of the song, please head over to musicgreatness.com. As always, thank you for watching. If you love the content, please leave a like, leave a comment, and also don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next lesson.